All right, guys, a little different intro here for you, but we're actually in Minnesota. Don't you know? Don't you know? Don't you know? And uh, that's my first time to uh, Minnesota now. What's cool about Minnesota is they have a uh, franchise out here. It's called Culver's. Now, Pennsylvania and the East Coast, for the majority of the part, we have no Culver's. So uh, we've comprised. And this was uh, sponsored by a subscriber named Roberta. And I appreciate it. I appreciate the support. And uh, you sent me some money and you said, hey, I want to see a $200 menu challenge. So I said, okay. And I was waiting for an opportunity where I was ab actually able to do something that I had never done before. And uh, so I was afforded this opportunity in Minnesota. And uh, so we're going to do Culver's. we got $200 worth. The back seat is full. Three full bags. $200 and some odd cents with the tax. Uh, we're actually going to uh, get back to the uh, Holiday Inn Express here so we can set up to actually do this challenge. Because obviously, the, you know, Culver's is a franchise and they don't let you record inside. So Molly Schuyler and Killer Kennedy versus $200 worth of Culver's. All right, guys, so here's the uh, Culver's Challenge. It's nine full bags, and there's uh, two items of each. That way Molly can have one and I can have one. Uh, I'm pretty sure they have it pretty well separated in there. We are going to take time and get this stuff all out of the bags to start, uh, and I'll put a list up right over here of everything that we got. But it was $200 worth. And a uh, special shout-out to the subscriber, Roberta. I really, really, really appreciate it, and I, I, I apologize um, for the timing. This year's been pretty wild, so I haven't had a lot of time to film at home. Uh, but uh, we're on the road. We're making this happen. This one's for you, and we appreciate it. As you can see, this is a uh, it's a pretty good jag of food here. Uh, we don't really have it necessarily separated, but we're going to try to do it as best we can, one and one. Um, but why, it's a lot of food. Why is there ranch? For the tenders. Oh. Because uh, the system that whoever devised wasn't separating it properly. So that's all right. We're good. We're gonna get this thing going. There's no time. No time limit. We're just gonna. I've never had Culver's before, so. Let's get into this stuff. There's cheese curds. Oh my god, cheese curds. Yeah, cheese curds. There's uh, chili in here. There's fries. There's onion rings. There's there's all kinds of stuff. So let's get into these things. I have cheese curds. They're chili. Wow. There's so much for real. If you're running into something you've already eaten, let me know. Oh shit. Oops. I just got ranch all over myself. Breaded tenders. They also have buffalo chicken tenders. Yeah, like ding dip. Come on, you know, see your though. It's a pretty good tender. I love onion rings so much. That is a good tender. I truly think that Culver's is probably one of the upper fast food chains. I'm kind of a yeah. Onion ring kind of sore snob, so. Are you? I do like a good onion ring. There used to be this place local to me called Garfield. They used to make these homemade ones and they were just gigantic. They were like the size of a milk jug. They were delicious. I used to go there all the time just to get the onion ring. Yeah. There's another one like a bigger round. I used to work in a kitchen at a, in a place in Duluth and I had actually made these damn things every day. I had to make the onion rings. Oh well. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff here. Guys, onion rings. Chicken, chicken tandies. Soft. Are you really? Yeah, they are very soft. I think rings are good so far. They cook them to order, so. <laughs> Kennedy also had his first pizza ranch experience today, by the way. Pizza ranch. <laughs> Shout out to Ethan Tespe, who grew up near me, mind you. 
Pete Tarantula experience. Pete <laughs> You what now? More believable than I said yesterday. <laughs> Pete Tarantula. I got my main impression. The pile of bags right here. <laughs> yeah. They don't look good. I didn't even know good. Oh, the crinkle cut fries. I think it's probably the last time I had a cheese shirt. Um. If you follow my saga on my Snapchat, you know about cheese curds. <laughs> So you said this was a pot roast sandwich? Um, yep. Pot roast. The bun is very squishy. Like, wet. There was one really weird thing on, on the menu. You could actually order like a, just a bun in a bag. It was a uh, gluten free. Like, uh, interesting. It's good. But I I'd that. rather add like a tomato or something to it. It's kind of dry. This is called the uh, Wisconsin milk. There's a lot of Wisconsin things in the Minnesota. <laughs> Now, mind you, we're right down the road from the uh, Mall of America, so really, it, we're a hop, skip, and a jump to the Wisconsin border, really. First time I've ever seen the Mall of America, too. That was pretty impressive. Food Court of America. We found free people in the buckle. Food Court of America, yeah. Found a sweater. Okay, pretty good. This chicken sandwich is actually pretty good. Oh, there's no tomatoes on it. Dang it. No, there's no tomato because they want to charge you 70 cents to put a tomato on it. <laughs> My favorite condiment or topping on any sandwich is always going to be a tomato. I'm not here. I love tomatoes. That's broke. That's a good fried chicken sandwich, though. Not bad? Mm -hmm. Well, that Wisconsin melt was pretty good. <laughs> so if you run into another pork loin sandwich, that was mine. <laughs> if you run into another... I'm just gonna smile and nod this one. We had we were still mixed up pulling these out of the bags because they weren't so they weren't completely equally distributed and we were like, oh let's just keep eating at this point because they're just gonna get old and uh Oh heck yeah mushroom this was. Um old and cold. If we get mushroom to something that we double up on necessarily, uh, then we swap it I guess. Very tangible. It is so good. I love mushrooms. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> well, there's humongous fungus I'm among us. I'm a fun guy, girl. Make a cup fries kind of standard run the mill. Nothing fancy. With some uh, mashed potatoes and gravy here. Molly Skyler actually lobbied for these. I mean, mashed potatoes and gravy are just 
staples. Yeah. Believe it or not, they're actually very, very hot and good. Are they fresh mashed potatoes? Mm, they even have lumps. I love lumps. Yeah, I put mashed potatoes in. Lumps? Some texture. They have three flat sandwiches. Do you eat a flat sandwich? I ate one. Yeah, this is yours. This is, uh, yeah, this one's yours. It is. That's the pork. Mm. Here's my double butter, butter, double butter, butter deluxe. Double butter deluxe. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Double butter. I love use this. Uh, I think this is the patty mail. I think I already had one of these. Mm. Uh, you have two mushrooms over there. Oh, they I got a Reuben. I've got a Reuben right here. This is a uh, some with Swiss cheese. Yeah, and this is a uh, something. I don't know what it is. Standard Reuben, um, Kraut, Corned Beef, Thousand Island, Rye Toast. Not gonna lie, I'm not really a fan of Reubens. But, I don't mind a good, a good Reuben. When I get a Jersey Mice, I need a Reuben. I would prefer a Rachel with a little turkey instead, but. Be dairy. Be dairy. Oh, I find out what else I got hiding in here. There's that veggie thing. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. It does sound like it's very delicious. Yeah, it's not the worst case. Molly well, didn't seem like she enjoyed it that much. And uh, <sighs> here's the pork tenderloin sandwich. Now it's been a long time since I had pork. You, you were one of the only ones that did that big pork tenderloin sandwich that paid out. Paid out like $500 or something at the time, you and Darren. Oh, that was in uh, Missouri. Yeah. That was like back in 2013 or something. Yeah. Like that. That was it was a long time ago. Yeah, it's 500 bucks. It had the big buttermilk biscuit on it. Mm -hmm. That was not pleasant. What was that thing, like 10 pounds or something? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. It's uh, pork from them types of meat you can either you cook it really well or you overcook it. And this is I still, I mean, even for being a fast food patty, it's still juicy. I agree. Yeah. I did prefer the, uh, that grilled chicken sandwich the other one, actually. I don't know what we got here. This is a grilled, uh, a grilled burger, grilled, uh, mushroom. That's your, uh, Wisconsin? Uh-huh, okay. Does that have mushrooms on it? Oh, that's onions, I think. That's your Wisconsin? Oh. Oh, it's so hot. Wow. That's not such a good one. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, here's the one with mushrooms on. I got it right here. Was it yours on a patty style though, or was it no, all, I had, all I, one I, I had mushroom and Swiss. It was really good. Mm. I feel like I got the mushroom and Swiss. Hold the mushroom. 
<laughs> Substitute to mushroom for more Swiss. <laughs> wow. Mushrooms, Andy Polgrove. Mm -hmm. Yeah. On rye bread. Oh, that's on rye too? Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't know that. Gross. Not a fan of rye bread. No. Mm -hmm. I really do like most breads. I really do like rye bread. Pumper, nickel, and rye. Not really my thing. What? You don't like rye? It's definitely not easy to sit down and eat this much food. No, it's not. Way easier if you're standing up. It's a lot. This here is the uh, pot roast sandwich. <coughs> it has good flavor, but it's a little dry. It definitely needs popping. I know, I thought about that at the very end. I was like, why did I just wait for that? Like some kind of sauce or something on there. I mean, not like ranch. I would just have some sort of aioli on it. Tasting that one for a while. Yeah? Yeah. They asked us if we were having a party when they brought it to the car. <laughs> Nine bags. Yeah. Nine bags of food. Do you have a party? Yes. Yep. Party for two. They always look at you funny when you say stuff like that. Yeah. <clears throat> I know. I'm like, you didn't wear anything. 
It's what you like. You never wear anything different. You go to fine dining restaurant. You get paid. You just move me one. Sure. Ugh. It's not crunchy, it turns into mush. Should be in the Andy Pole. Not a cracker, my chili kind of person. Place <laughs> napkins. Spirit of For a party. Yeah. Took us about a half an hour. Guys, <laughs> right, so there you go. The whole Culver's menu. Uh, pretty much touched about the bases of everything except the desserts. We didn't get into the ice cream and stuff. Uh, one, because by the time we already got back here and got through this, that stuff would have been pretty much melted into a pile of milk. So mm -hmm. maybe next time I visit this area, I'll do a bunch of ice creams. They get pretty expensive, but they're really good. It's, it's custard, actually. It's not, it's not ice cream or. Frozen yogurt is actually custard, so. Custard. Yeah. So. General custard. General custards. Anyway, shout out to Roberta for uh, sponsoring this uh, challenge. I really appreciate it and I uh, hope you enjoy this video as much as we did uh, making it and enjoying the food. Culver's is not disappointing. Uh, certain things I would definitely gravitate towards and some things I'd be like, eh, mediocre at best, but overall, a pretty good experience. But uh, if you like this, make sure you hit that like button, share it, subscribe if you haven't because it's free. I mean, what else in the world's free right now? With the inflation and everything else, my channel is still free. Free. So why not click that button? Check out Molly's channel. Take it.